hey y'all welcome back to the channel so today your girl gonna be showing y'all how to make that super busted cheesy lord so bomb mac and cheese y'all let me show y'all what i did but first we're gonna go ahead on and pour us up a glass of wine because we gonna need it so first i went on and shredded me up some cheese i did kobe jack i did cheddar i did smoked cheddar and i'm gonna have some mozzarella cheese now i did give me some original sour cream and i'm gonna go ahead on and coat my noodles with that sour cream now i'm not gonna go too deep in details on how to boil no macaroni because we all grown you should know how to boil some noodles and if you're not grown enough to know that you need to go ask your mama okay so then we want to go ahead on and add a little bit of smoked paprika and some lowry seasonal y'all you don't really need no garlic powder onion powder all that that is gonna bring your mac and cheese to a whole different level damn near pasta to at that point so i don't do all that all i do is add lowry's and i add smoked paprika and you can add a little bit of black pepper now we're going to add a whole stick of butter and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil canola oil vegetable oil all that is fine and we're going to add in one fourth cup of flour you want to go ahead on and cook that down y'all we have to cook this flour because ain't nobody trying to come by your house and eat no mac and cheese and eat no raw flour you got to make sure you cook that so then we are going to do two cups of heavy whipping cream our whole can of evaporated milk and we're going to do two cups of whole milk now what i'm going to do is add a little bit of lowry's into my milk and we're going to add a little bit of ground mustard mix that on up and then we're going to add maybe about two thin slices of Velveeta cheese and then we're going to slowly start adding in our shredded cheese Make sure you only put a little bit of sharp cheddar, unless you really love sharp cheddar. But I'm not really a big sharp cheddar girl like that. Shit kind of funky to me. So I just add a little bit in there. Now at this point, y'all, we are mostly adding in our Kobe Jack cheese and our smoked cheddar. We only put just a little bit of the sharpener already and we have not even touched our mozzarella yet. So as you add in your cheese, y'all, make sure you are whisking. Do not dump everything in there at once. Make sure you are whisking. You need to put a little bit whisk and you need to lift up your whisk to start testing how thick because it's going to see how it's starting to get thick. And you need to make sure the consistency that you want, you need to be able to know when to stop. Because if you dump the cheese in there, y'all, the shit going to get too thick on you and you don't want that. Then I added in one egg. When you add in that egg, you need to hurry up and whisk or it will cook on you. And you're going to have a sunny side egg inside your goddamn macaroni. So make sure you hurry up and mix it on up. Then I'm going to go ahead on and add half of my sauce down in my noodles. And then I'm going to go ahead on and start mixing that up. Once I add that half, I'm going to add my other half and I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to take half of my mac and cheese and put it into a separate bowl. I added in a little bit of more Lowry's and then I'm going to assemble my first half with the rest of my cheese, which is my Kobe Jack, a little bit of my smoked cheddar, and I'm going to add in a little bit of mozzarella on top of that. And then this is only for presentation purposes, guys. You don't have to use the mozzarella. The mozzarella is only if you want that cheese full. Now the macaroni that you have inside the bowl, you're gonna do the same thing. Add some more cheese, and then you're gonna lay that right on top of that first layer. And then we're gonna put some more mozzarella right on top just like i say y'all this is only for presentation purposes if you don't want the cheese pull you don't have to do it now i do recommend that you put some kind of cheese on the top so your noodles don't get burnt i topped it off with a little bit of smoked paprika and some parsley and now i'm gonna loosely put some fall paper on top i did bake my mac and cheese with my fall on for 30 minutes on 400 degrees and then i baked it for another 20 minutes on 400 degrees with my fall off y'all i topped it with some string beans and some salmon y'all and this was so good super busting y'all i'm definitely gonna be trying this recipe again i want y'all to comment down below and let your girl know if y'all gonna be trying this one bye y'all